Hi guys, welcome back to Dan at Valhalla Games. And I wanted to show you these beautiful 3D prints from the STLs from the Kickstarter of the Black Death Soviet Naval Infantry Kickstarter from Stefan at Flank March Miniatures. Man, when Rex printed these off and sent them to me, they only just arrived here just as the Kickstarter was about to finish. So I had to give my humble apologies to Stefan, I didn't get them out in time before they had finished, but I've painted them up now and wow, I am really impressed. I hope you are too, um, from what you can see already. So uh, just, oh, lovely, lovely, lovely sculpts. Um, so these ones here have been uh, printed off by Rex um, and what he has done is he's printed them off on a, our 3D printer, which is an Anycubic Mono X. He's printed them off at 6K, and he's printed them off at 100%. So that's how we've printed off our files. I guess your mileage may vary, and uh, um, whatever you feel fits your uh, um, your battlefield or your troop size already, um, especially if you've got uh, anybody else to fit it with. But um, I have uh, can tell you I've just received some uh, Warlord Games um, uh, Soviet Naval Infantry, and I'm very happy with how they fit with them. So what I'll do is I'll have a bit of a sweep through the remainder of the uh, guys have painted up and we'll have a bit of a look at them. So here we go, let's go down the line in a uh, the traditional lineup. So the riflemen you see at the back in their pea coats, and uh, there's an officer as well. Now I really enjoy painting those pea coats there. Um, I'll give you a bit of a tip on the colour scheme in a minute. I also did enjoy, however, the um, the dark blue outfits and uh, the sculpting on the miniatures is fantastic. Uh, I enjoyed the Molotov cocktail as well. It's just um, a nice bit of spot colour on an otherwise sort of dark miniature. Um, and if I go through some of the other sculpts, you can see as well that um, another thing that pops is that um, little naval star that they had, or sorry, the uh, a Soviet star on their naval peacoats there. Again, another clothing option for the Molotov guys. Let's zoom out a little bit there, it's not liking some of the focus. And there we go. So semi-automatic rifles as well as the bolt action. And remember, if you've gone into this Kickstarter, um, you have got the opportunity to uh, use Blender files and um, basically create um, different clothing, different headdress, uh, certain different weapon type options on um, on some of these sculpts, as much as uh, as I guess um, any of these uh, um, these campaigns that I've certainly seen out there so far. And it really does have the option to add in some um, some great unique sculpts because of course if you're doing a, a weapons team or something like that well you can have another weapons team printed off that is um dressed in different uniforms um slightly differently and stuff like that here's our medium mortar and if i just come down a wee bit here so it sits better into the frame there we go again i really really enjoyed these guys here um, the level of detail in them is amazing. I'm going to get one up in front of the camera in a minute and I'm going to show you guys what's going on. But just to see. The face sculpts are fantastic. The folds and the clothing are just top notch. Just absolutely brilliant. And if I just get this to focus in for me. There we go. Here's the anti-tank rifle. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to go once more along the, uh, the lineup. And I'll take you back and what we'll do is we'll end up looking at the sniper pair that we have. I'm going to tell you what my um, paint recipe was at the end of this. So stick with me. All right, there's a sniper and a spot. I really enjoy painting these guys as well. The guys with the cloaks, oh, they're really, really nice to paint. Um, 
and uh, with the, the blue of the shirt coming through as well it just adds a nice bit of a spot colour to it as well but um, just a really really nice sculpt um, there's a little ding out of the uh, that observer's hat um, the spotter's hat that, that's, uh, that's me I, I dropped the thing and uh, just put a bit of a patch on um, I'll probably get Rex to print me off another one eventually but uh, yeah if you see something odd on that broom that's, uh, that is definitely not the file nor Rex is printing uh, sorry Rex, um, dropped that guy, I'm sure you'll forgive me. So right, what I'm going to do now is, uh, let me pick up one of these squads or um, uh, a model and uh, we'll have a bit of a look and I'll talk you through the paint scheme that I used. So here we go, let's talk through the paint scheme that I used for these guys so you can re reproduce something like it at home for yourself. Um, it's actually quite simple. So um, on the uh, Maxim here on the frame and uh, the front of the weapon, the gun shield, uh, what I used is Castellan Green by Games Workshops, Castellan Green. Um, then the black rear for the uh, receiver of the weapon itself, um, easy. Um, any of the weapons, just a um, gunmetal um, sort of edge highlight over some of it just to show some scraping and so on and so forth. The pea coat and the trousers. So, these here, uh, in this particular style of coat, were um, really, really um, dark grey, blue, black. Okay, so midnight blue, dark grey. So what I've used here is, I've started off with a black undercoat. I've then layered up through German grey. Then into uh, black grey. All from Volo Model Colour. And then I've finished off with dark grey mixed into the black grey for a final highlight. Okay, I've got nice wide highlights as you can see um, to replicate folds of cloth. What I did then is I gave it a black wash with um, Nuln Oil by Citadel Games Workshop. And then I went back and I did an edge highlight only on the sharp edges. So around the edges of the corners of the lapel there and uh, on the turn back on the cuff as well. So up there and in there. It's only in those places. The boots I tackled in a different way. Because I wanted to stand out in a different way to the actual black uh, grey of the pea coat. Um, because in various places like the our, um, gunner here. What we've got is I kept the highlights very very thin and uh, quite sharp and stark so I went straight from black into dark grey so I've just got dark grey on the edges of the um, the pieces of the leather and a little bit on the toe of the boot so it really makes it pop um, on the turn back on there as well what I've got is I've got dark grey okay which is a much lighter colour from Vallejo model colour um, however it um, produces that nice turn back colour that you can see the blues so the blues of the um, the uniform itself, the shirt so what we've got is we've got uh, again Vallejo model colour so we've got dark Prussian blue um, then a 50-50 mix of dark Prussian blue and Prussian blue and then going up into a Prussian blue just on the highest highlights itself um, I didn't want it to be too stark face painted in my normal style so um, what we've got is we've got Cadian flesh tone and um, uh, a skin wash um, and then the eyes and stuff go in as usual uh, helmets are Russian green by Vallejo model colour and the reason why I picked this model is because I have put a uh, the third crew member here in a uh, cloak. So for that cloak what I did is I did a Castellan green base and then I layered it up with a Vallejo model colour um, Russian uniform and then a subsequent layer of Russian uniform and khaki um, about 50 wrong about 75 Russian uniform 25 um, khaki 
And then after I've finished doing the base, which we'll talk about in a minute, I've gone back and I've um, did a bit of a dry brush along the bottom of the cloak there. The uh, bags, khaki, laid up. Same with the water bottle carrier. Uh, and the um, these parts here of the uniform, uh, so Hoeth Blue, not sure how to pronounce that, uh, by Citadel Color. Yeah, it's turned out quite nice. Uh, the white's provided by Pallid uh, Witch Flesh. So there we go. The base itself was really, really easy. Um, all I've done there is I have um, been keeping um, a pot of a certain colour of uh, Citadel um, texture paints for quite a long time, and I finally got to use it. I wanted something that looked a little bit... Um, uh, maybe sort of beachy, but also um, summer, um, arid sort of plains, um, arid farmland, something like that. Uh, maybe um, summer, summer uh, Soviet sort of territory, or landing on a beach somewhere. So I've just had a little tufts from Army Painter Highland Tufts. But this here, um, the actual main earth, is, uh, is Armageddon Dust from Citadel and what I've done is I've put in um, little chunks of some uh, broken sort of arid earth coloured um, uh, pebbles nice chunky ones smeared it all around okay then I've given it a wash with Agrax Earthshade in certain places um, the dips and hollows then what I've done is I have picked out um, given a bit of a dry brush over quite a large areas of um, Light Mud from Panzer Aces uh, model set by Volo Model Color. Yep, I like it because it is uh, it's um, light. It's a light highlight, but it is not bright, and um, that's the color that I've done that um, uh, that little dry brush along the bottom of the cloak. But guys, if you have not um, checked out this Kickstarter. Go and have a look at the models that were on it. Um, all the models you've seen today uh, on this video are all from that Black Death Soviet Naval Infantry Kickstarter. Yep. Um, Stephen is a really good guy, so please support him because people producing models of this quality um, and are as helpful and give such great customer service as him um, really need to be supported in our hobby. The stuff's absolutely brilliant. Um, I, for one, uh, I backed the Kickstarter. Um, so yes, um, Stefan got me these, uh, got us these previews. So thank you very much for that. Um, however, like everything else we uh, review on here, it's our opinion, and that doesn't influence it. And I think it's uh, one of the easiest um, reviews of uh, the quality you can see because you can just see the quality shining through in it. It's absolutely brilliant. I totally recommend it. Um, yeah, if you're in the Soviet Naval Infantry, go for it. And I will be looking out for anything else he does because uh, the stuff he's produced is absolutely brilliant. So there we go. I hope that helps you paint your guys up and get them on the table. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks very much and we'll see you soon.